Yes, uh, my name is uh, Mark van der Petter. I am a founder and president of the festival, but of course also of the beer club. The name of the beer club is BAP, the Bruges Autonomous Beer Tasters. That's our name. Each year we enjoy us on our festival. We meet here almost 20,000 people all over the world to have a nice beer festival. What's the name of the beer festival? The festival is the Bruges Beer Festival. Very simple, it is a beer festival and we live in Bruges. How many uh, brewers and uh, do you have here in Bruges? Yes, beers? for the first time we have 90 brewers. Hmm? Of course we can, uh, we can have a lot of more brewers because a lot of brewers cannot participate because the festival is completed in, uh, in a few days. The beers, for the first time we offer, we uh, present 600 beers from non-alcoholic beers to very strong beers. What has changed over the years? I mean, you've seen, we've seen a lot of nice new craft brewers along with your family-owned brewers and traditional brewers. How have you seen yeah. that evolution? How long has your festival yeah. been? At? The greatest evolution is the number of people that inter are interested in beers. Hmm? And that is why we're doing it for. Hmm? When we started uh, 13 years ago, uh, the beer was not a hype. Hmm? We, just 13 years ago, it starts with the hyping of the beers. Hmm? And then we had 4,000 visitors. Hmm? And that was growing, growing, growing. And now we have 20,000 visitors from 42 countries all over the, all over the world. Hmm? And it is in a, a period, the 1st and the 2nd uh, February, where there is uh, not much tourism in Bruges. Hmm? And that is why we do it now. In terms of brewers, we're seeing a lot in our brewers. I guess it's a showcase of the Flanders breweries. And you're seeing a lot of craft brewers here. I mean, there's yes, Potem, yes. there's uh, the Saipan, brewers, there's... Okay, uh, yeah. The brewers that, uh, that are here hmm, are invited by us. Hmm? And we don't invite the great breweries. Hmm? We don't invite, for instance, um, Abbe Inveff with the Laffa beers. Hmm? Nothing wrong with the beers. Hmm? We don't invite my Mars, for instance. Eh? Nothing wrong with Mars. Eh? But we want to give the chance to the very small brewers hmm? for the same price. They get the same uh, stall hmm? as the great breweries. Hmm? Um, that is what is so special to our festival. Um, also, the small breweries have their place in our uh, festival here. More than 70% are very small breweries. For your beer club, how many people belong to it and why yeah. did you start it? Yes, we started uh, about uh, 15 years ago, yes. Just uh, two friends of mine and uh, we sat together with a, with a glass of beer and we thought, uh, why shouldn't we start a beer club? Mm? And then we had to find a name. Uh, we have the Belfry over here, the Holotorn. Uh, we thought perhaps the Holotorn tasters, but that was not good. And in Bruges there was a very famous uh, brewery. And the brewery was Bieren Egle in Belgica. And the Bieren Egle in Belgica, that was BAP, B-A-B. And we took this name, Bieren Egle Belgica. Uh, you can see it on here, BAP, Bieren Egle Belgica. And we, we gave some of our last money and we have patented, this, uh, now it is our name, BAP is our name and our uh, logo here. And uh, that is how, how we started. We started with a tasting with, with, with uh, 20 people and that uh, everybody was bringing along some friends, say, hey, that's nice, the, the, the tasting with the BAP. And then we were 40, then we were 100 and now we are 260 members. What kind of activities do you do during the year other than this amazing beer festival? Yes, every year, uh, sorry, every month we do, a, we do an activity. Eh? It is um, from uh, visiting a brewery, eh? then it's a brew, uh, brewer on visits, a brewer that comes uh, to the, do the club. Eh? But we also uh, make, um, last year we had uh, an, uh, a game uh, through the whole city of Bruges eh? with activities. Eh? And uh, this year, in the month of September, we will have a hop-on, hop-off system to the breweries in, uh, amongst, uh, along in Bruges here. Hmm? 
all the breweries that are in a circle of uh, 15 kilometers, hmm? we will uh, travel with two buses and everybody can hop on, hop off the bus. And in every uh, brewery, it will be open door with some music, a music band, with some uh, a pick on the spit and, uh, and so, um, of some chips. Hmm? And uh, that is uh, uh, an important um, activity for this year. Hmm? But every year, every month we come together. What's your background? Why the interest in beer? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I am an insurance man. Um, my my buddy is a uh, is director in a bank. We all are a bit in the financial world. Uh, and why have we chosen for beer? Nobody knows it. We also love a good glass of wine or a good whiskey. But people that love good beer also love good other drinks. I sometimes I, I, I go to speak for a group of people that are in a wine club. Hmm? And this, in this wine club, everybody says, wow, it is also possible to taste beers instead of wine. Hmm? Just one difference, um, wine, you spit it out after tasting. Eh? With beer, you don't do it, you drink it. Eh? I say beer is too, uh, too, 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 too important to spit out, beer you have to drink. Eh? And really, it is because the bitterness you, you feel it here, here, here uh, in the back of your, of your mouth here. Hmm? And that is what it is need to, to drink it all along. Hmm? Otherwise you can't uh, taste the bitterness. Hmm? And when you have to spit it out, after the beer reaches here, hmm? then it will be not a nice view of that. Hmm? That's the real reason why you don't uh, spit it out. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Thank, Thank you. you. Very that much. was wonderful. Okay. <laughs> uh, can you